guys, it's Lizzie, and welcome to our video. We are new. We are kid YouTubers, and we're going to start right now. Yeah. So, today we're going to learn about my bunny, Oliver. Yeah. So, my bunny, Oliver, is a lop ear bunny. So, I just didn't want you to think, what? Is that bunny, like, what's wrong with that bunny? Is he okay? Because that's how he was born. Yeah. He's not the usual bunny that goes like this. Yeah. And and he has ears that go down, like what I'm doing. Like, well, they're all apart. So, see? C is getting over. So, this is my bunny, Oliver. Yes. And we are going to learn the story behind him. Yeah. We got him from a farmer. At the time, we thought he was a girl. We named her, which we thought it was a girl at that time. Yes. Yeah. So, um, we named her, her, after a book named The Green Ember. Yeah. You may have read this. It's not very popular yet. Well, um, sorry, there's fluff everywhere. Yes. Um, so, so, we named Oliver here, here, um, after a character in the book. Her name was Heather. So that's what we called her her for a pretty long time. So then my mom figured out that it was a boy. Can you believe it? I know a boy. My a little boy. girl. A boy. A I boy. was horrified. Yes, she was like ah. So um I was thinking but I had the perfect name for him and everything. But we had a solution. So, I was reading this book called Oliver Twist. It's very popular. Many of you probably have read it if you've grown up. So, um, I thought, thought, hey, why not I named him Oliver? It's the perfect name. I know. But then I was like, but Peter Rabbit's a good name because he's always named Mischief in rummaging around in the bathrooms and closets. So I thought, what should I do? I like both of the names. But then I thought of an idea. Yes. Why not I use them both? So his name is Oliver Peter. Yes, Oliver Peter. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but that's what I named him at the time. So, another story from after that, that it was actually a couple weeks ago. Um, so, we were outside playing with Oliver in the front yard. And he, we heard a hawk. If you don't know this, bunnies are very scared of hawks. They kill bunnies and eat them for their little dinners. So, we... So we had a blanket out there because we were eating it out there for lunch. So we covered Oliver up because they would hide it in their bur burrows since Oliver doesn't have that in the house or outside. We thought, why not use the blanket? So he was hiding under the blanket and he got so crazy that he ran out of from under the blanket and ran straight into our neighbor's yard. I know. Into their garage. We had to go get him. But um, I had to bring him back inside. But he was okay. He was very freaked out, though, for a long time. He, he was very scared. And so, but I wanted to tell you something. You're probably thinking, I hold him really weirdly and why isn't he kicking you while you're doing this well why is i'm holding him the right way you probably are holding him like this it's not very good 
you're supposed to hold him like this. But you could also hold him like this. Yep. Yeah. Come. I think he likes this better. But he it's better this way because you see my hand down there holding his little feet. It makes him feel comfortable and feel safe, like he's not gonna fall. And so that's how you hold a bunny. And so next time we are going to learn how to take care of our bunny. So if you have a bunny, how do you take care of it? Um, well, we're gonna learn all that next time. So like, so this is the kind of stuff we're gonna be learning next time. We're going to learn how, what to feed him, what kind of stuff we should use, and why, how do I get him not to pot, go potty all over my house all the time? We'll learn all that next time. And one more thing. Take what? Go subscribe down below. Yeah. yeah. Give yeah. it a big thumbs up because that would mean so yeah. much to us. Yeah. Go. Go. Down.